Neil Campbell was a young researcher. He got a position teaching, a faculty position at Cornell. During his first year, a sales rep came into his office and started asking him about how his experience was teaching. And Neil went off on a rant about textbooks and how these textbooks just seemed boring to him. They were a column of text, a column of text, another column of text, maybe a photo, but then more text. And he said he would use art to tell the story. He would use art to teach. And so the sales rep said to him, hey, would you be interested in writing a book? And he said, sure, he'd be willing to try that out. So Neil agreed to submit a chapter, and he decided to write that chapter on water. And that chapter is still in the book. And in 1987, the first edition came out. And from the very first printing of the first edition, Campbell Biology has been the most widely used college-level introductory textbook in biology. Campbell Biology has been used by 12 million students since the first edition. And it's been so successful because of kind of the hallmark features of Campbell. Um, it's a gold standard for accuracy and for writing quality, I think, the narrative. It tells the story in a very accurate way. Secondly, the art is used to teach. Neil's original idea of using art to teach has been carried through all the editions. Thirdly, every single edition, we would bring in new features based on evolution of students and instructors over the years and what people had learned about biology education. So I think it's those three things that have made Campbell so successful over the years. The trusted content, the visual kind of using art to teach, and the ability to innovate for every edition. The team was hand-selected by Neil Campbell before he died, and the team was carefully constructed to reflect that we're all teachers and we're from different types of institutions, so we have a multitude of experience in our team. I think he would be actually extremely pleased to see what we've done with his beginnings.